Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. Tricks, traps and blunders. Let's start. D4, F5, the Dutch defense. Knight to C3, Knight to F6, Bishop to G5, D5, Bishop takes Knight, E takes on F6. What happens if G takes on F6? Then white may play e4. Back to our game. e takes on f6, e3, c6, bishop to d3, queen to b6. How would you defend the pawn on b2? I guess some players would play rook to b1. Why is I played a3? Tempting black to take the pawn. And the offer was accepted. But something is wrong with this move. What is it? White played the move and black resigned and the move is knight to a4 winning the queen. Next game. d4, f5. Again, the Dutch defense. Bishop to g5, waiting for the knight h6 was played bishop to f4 g5 bishop to g3 f4 e3 black to move h5 was played if pawn takes bishop how would you recapture with h or with the f pawn well white doesn't have to take the pawn he can play queen to h5 check mate back to our game that is why play with the black pieces in this game played h5. Bishop to d3, threatening checkmate, but play with the black pieces played rook to h6. White to move. What would you do? Are you ready to see the move? Play with the white pieces, sacrifice the queen to deflect the rook. This is check. Rook takes queen. Bishop to g6, check, mate. Next game. This was the game between Frank Marshall with the white pieces and Carlos Thor. The game was played in Germany in 1925. Marshall played d4. Thor played knight to f6. c4, black to move. What would Carlos Thor play? He played the Mexican defense, knight to c6 d5 knight to e5 b3 e6 bishop to b2 bishop to b4 check knight to d2 black to move how would you continue carlos tor played knight to e4 bishop to c1 black to move black played the move and white resigned and the move is queen to f6. Frank Marshall resigned. If knight to f3, then one of the ways to win for black is to play knight to g4. Next game. d4, knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to c3, Dreams in the defense, queen to b3, c5, asking a question, Queen to a5, bishop to d2, well if pawn takes bishop, what happens then? Then queen takes rook, back to our game. That is why player with the white pieces played bishop to d2, unpinning. Knight to c6, white to move, if you wish to win the war. You don't always go forward. Sometimes you have to retreat. Queen to d1 was played. This looks wrong, doesn't it? Because player with the black pieces captured the pawn on d4. White to move. Believe it or not. White played a move and black resigned and the move is e3. Black resigned. If the knight goes to a safe spot, what happens then? Then pawn takes bishop. 
and the rook is now defended by the queen. Next game, d4, knight to f6, c4, e6, going for the nymphs or Indian defense, maybe, but player with the white pieces played g3, going for the Catalan opening, d5, bishop to g2, d takes on c4, knight to f3, c5, castling, knight to c6, more pressure on the pawn, on d4, how would you defend the pawn? Perhaps I can capture the pawn on c5. Instead, player with the white pieces played knight to e5. Is this a blunder? Player with the black pieces won the free pawn. Is it really free? Did white blunder? Or did he set a trap? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Play with the white pieces played e3. And believe it or not, black resigned. If the knight moves, let's play knight to c6. Then bishop takes on c6, pawn takes bishop, queen takes queen, check, king takes queen, and then knight takes on f7, check, winning the rook. What do you think of these miniatures? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.